Right, how's everybody doing? Yeah, so today we're down Anchor Lane again in Inglemail. So I've got some special friends with me again. So you saw them a few weeks ago when I did my uh, Anchor Lane uh, walkabout in Inglemail. So we've got Tracy and we've got Sam. Hello. Yeah, so they've got a static caravan here. Uh, they've, how many years you've been on, in, on Anchor Lane? Our first full oh, season yeah, in our caravan season, now, but yeah, yeah. Tracy's been coming here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think so, when you said before, didn't you? Yeah, because we probably bumped into each other when, when we was both kids at the arcades, because I used to come down here as well. Pinching pennies. Yeah, pinching a pennies. So what we're going to do today, we're going to show you what's actually open in October. Uh, we're going to go to uh, down to, uh, what's it called? Wacky Racers. Wacky Racers. So, a few, when I did the video at uh, Anchor Lane before, uh, the guy at Wacky Racers, it's a big shop that sells everything, wasn't very happy because I never went in to see him and we never showed his shop or anything. So what we're going to do today, we're going to go down there and we're going to show his shop, showing you all, all you guys what he actually sells in the shop and hopefully he might give us a few freebies. What do you reckon, Tracy? Maybe. Maybe, yeah, a bit of discount. Fun. And also, while we're here as well on Anchor Lane, we're going to go to one of the best fish and chip shops that there is in Anchor Lane, Ingemels, and it's showing you what the food's like, and we're going to give it a mark as well. So, yeah, so join me on Anchor Lane. We're going to start outside. Woody's here, just showing you what's open. There's a lot of people here today as well. You know, say it's October. They did say that the weather was going to be red hot this weekend, but it... It's about 19 degrees and it's a bit cloudy, so hopefully the sun will come out later. So yeah, let's go for that little wonder. So let's go. A lot of the bars are open still on Anchor Lane and a lot of the sites are open still. So we've got Woody's here, the bar and restaurant. This doesn't look too bad place. Have you been in here? Yeah, we've had a yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really really nice. I did look on TripAdvisor and they do look like they do good food in there. So I think one night we'll have to go in there. So we might do that next year. Yeah, if I'm not abroad. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully let's get loads of subscribers and get me abroad a lot more. So uh, that's what I need to be doing, doing a lot more hotel reviews and stuff like that as well so it yeah this weekend coming i, I was saying to tracy and sam that how busy the roads was uh, loads of people coming because the weather forecast said it was going to be a beautiful sunny weekend but uh, well as you can see it's not that good <laughs> but uh, anyway let's go for that wonder right so i'm just, just going to show you a few of the sites that's on here so if you're thinking of booking of coming to uh, ingle mills and you're not sure where you're staying and you've seen a site and you know you're interested so just to the side of Woody's where we've just walked past is the Chase and Grange Caravan Park. The Chase and Grange, yeah. And, and what's this one? This one here is Waterside. Waterside. So we've got Waterside here, and then in front of us, we've got the, Wolds. the Wolds, and we've got Golden Sands, which uh, Tracy's and uh, Sam has. Do you do you rent your caravan out? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're interested in hiring a caravan, Tracy and Sam actually hire their caravan out. So send me a message in the link below or send me an email and I'll put you in touch uh, with Tracy and you can actually hire her caravan. That's good, isn't it, yeah? yeah? And hopefully in a few years' time, she'll have about 10 caravans on here and she'll be working at, well, you might even have your own site even. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah? So yeah, so if you want to do that, guys, if you're looking for somewhere to stay, yeah, put it in the comments below or send an email to me and I'll put you in touch with Tracy. And she's got a beautiful caravan. It's right next to the beach as well. Uh, there's actually a clubhouse on there and everything so that's the place over there if you want to look it up it's actually golden sands uh, there's like a little fish and chip shop on there as well so yeah give us a call on that so we're just walking into uh, the well anchor lane to where wacky racers is so did this used to be a amusement arcade once uh, no i don't think so it used to be something else didn't it it didn't, didn't always used to be wacky racers i don't think no, no, i know wacky's been around for a good few years yeah. Uh, there used to be a bingo in Bow. Oh, that And you got no bingo places here no more? No, not on this corner. No. <laughs> Crikey. So, 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 so,
Yeah, so I did come down here, it was last year, I did a walkthrough showing you all the places. Hey, check these guys out. So these are all dressed up, so I wonder what these are all dressed up for. Hey! What are you all up to then this weekend? What are you all up to this weekend? Oh, come on, tell me. Oh, happy birthday, who is it? Oh my God, what, an electric scooter? <laughs> Have a good weekend, girls. <laughs> right, so at Wacky Races on Anchor Lane, Inglemel. So I've got this guy here called Carl. Yeah, yep. yeah. He, do you own Wacky Races? No, you? I'm just, I'm just one of the staff. He's just one of the staff. But are you manager? Or like no, no, well, no, you no, should no, be no, a manager. Yeah. So he looks after this place. So how long's Wacky Races been open for? Uh, I've been here. This is my sixth season. Sixth probably, season. Yeah, and it's probably been about three to four then. Yeah. yeah. So, what year do you reckon's that open? Uh, oh, nine years. Nine years. Nine, nine years. Year. Wacky Races has been here, yeah. And they sell everything in there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk around and show you all what's actually for sale in here. And uh, what, what, when do you actually close for the winter? Well, we're closed now, probably beginning to middle of December. Middle of December, yeah. and then you're open. And then we open again, middle of uh, middle of February. They're um, socking up, but we are open at weekends. Yeah. You now we've got here. If the doors are open, shutters are up. You're welcome to come in. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Yeah, so yeah, they sell everything in there. So if you come on holiday and you need something, just come and see these guys. Yeah. So let's take you for a wander round Wacky Races. Right, yeah, so uh, they asked me to come and do some filming in here to show everybody what actually they sell in here. So, yeah, you can see they've got a selection of dog treats and dog leads and stuff. You've got all the colouring stuff. So, yeah, everything in this shop, everything. You name it, they've got it. Garden furniture, garden equipment as well. So, yeah, loads of stuff. And it says... If you can't see it, they can actually get it, I believe it or not. Yes, yeah, so it's coming up to Christmas as well, so if you want to come and get all your stuff for your kids at Christmas as well, and it's really good priced as well. So yeah, while you're here at the weekends and you want to start your Christmas shopping earlier, so yeah, check out the dinosaur. I'm not talking about you, I was talking about the dinosaur. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I am the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> but people just love coming around these shops and uh, seeing what they actually sell, all the bits and bobs. And say, so, uh, Wacky Races has been here for it's just not about nine years now. So it uh, must be doing well. So if you come on holiday and you've forgotten something, you come to stay in one of the caravans, at least you can actually come here and uh, buy all your stuff. No need to go to into Skegness and buy all your, your bits and bobs from here. Because this, this, this place, I say they've got everything, everything you can think of. And just check out the, the size of the place. It's massive. A lot of people like buying these. Have you got one of these in your caravan, Tracy? No, but I might yeah, it's a wonder, nice. eh? <laughs> These are nice, look. Oh. Got the uh, little water features. Oh yeah, you could spend hours walking around here, couldn't you? Uh, looking at all the stuff. So uh, we're going to make our way to the uh, Christmas section. Right, so I've got the Christmas section here. Look, the size of that Santa. I think that'd be a bit too big to put in your caravan, that one, it, Tracy, yeah? That caravan, that, yeah? More like this. Yeah, more like bit. that. <laughs> but we won't be here for Christmas. We're all locked up. I mean, I would be if it, uh, if they let us stay for Christmas. I'd definitely come to uh, Skegness and Ingemels for Christmas. So yeah, if you're uh, at a birthday party or anything as well and you need a card, they've got cards as well. If you forget. 
that's what I could do with the, over there, look, that uh, cycling machine. Because all these breakfasts and all this food I keep having, I need to uh, lose a bit of weight, so I need to get on that bike. Are you going to have a go on it, Sam, or what? Hey? Yeah? yeah? Give it a try out. Go on, give it a try out. Hey? <laughs> is, is it any good? Yeah. I'm going to have a go on this as well. I, I might see if he'll do me a bit of a discount on this. Oh, my God! I can't even get my leg. How did you get your legs on it? <laughs> I don't. I think I'll give that one a miss. <laughs> They're all laughing at me. I don't know why. It's, God, got a bit of a, oh God, that's hurt me knee. That hasn't it? So yeah, he, you're into knitting, are you, Sam? Sam's into his knitting. Like he's like he's looking at the wool. Sam is a bit of crochet. He's going to make us a few jumpers for Christmas. Christmas jumpers. But yeah, they seem to have got a lot. They seem to have got a lot of wool in here at the moment, haven't they? So yeah, if you need to make your Christmas jumpers ready for Christmas, you want to get yourselves in here? Right, check out these sweets. There's loads and loads of sweets to choose from. So uh, all your favourites, and they're all only one pound a bag, believe it or not. So you've got everything here, what you can think of. So what's your favourites, you two? Blue mushrooms. I've got to say the toffees. Toffees. Can we remember the spaceships? Does anybody still like the spaceships? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pop them over. Yeah. Near the yeah. Got the K line inside, the fizzy K line. But yeah, great section of sweets there. So, what have we got here, Tracy? Uh, Tracy's just spotted the uh, Brussels sprouts. So, what are they? They're just a teddy. A... Yeah, a little plushie. All right. And what's say a Christmas pudding as well? Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> so we've even got like the tools as well, electrical stuff. So if you need anything electrical as well, or you got need to do any work on your caravans and stuff, there's stuff down here, a bit of decorating as well. notice as well you can even buy a wacky racers Ingemel sign there look so yeah if you want one of those putting off your favorite of wacky racers they've actually got their own it's got their own Facebook page as well did you say face yeah they've actually got their own Facebook page believe it or not give us a wave are you gonna give us a wave see you later <laughs> see you later Right, so there you go then, that's Wacky Racers on Anchor Lane in Inglemail. So it's not too far from where Fantasy Island is. So when you're at Fantasy Island, if you walk you like towards the beach and you go left, uh, that is where Anchor Lane is, where a lot, not a lot of people actually come down here. But you want to start coming down here because there's quite a lot of stuff for people to do as well. There's a lot of places to eat. And you've got Wacky Racers, which is behind us, which we just showed you. So yeah, they sell everything. So if you're on holiday, in Ingle Mails and you need something come and see these guys at Wacky Racers so thank you so much for letting me do that little walk round as well and uh, yeah we've enjoyed that haven't we yeah you too you yeah. two use it all the time don't you yeah, yeah. So, yeah. there's always something in there you need sweets right what we're going to do we're going to go to the sweet shop now I'm going to take a look at what's happening in the sweet shop so let's go Yes, yeah, so there's quite a few people about today. Uh, all the shops are all still open. You wouldn't believe it. it's October though, would you? How fast this summer's gone, hasn't it? Eh? It's, it's gone mental this year, hasn't it? I know I've been doing lots of stuff, but yeah, this summer. And they reckon it's been the hottest summer this year, but it's been raining flipping most of the time, hasn't it? How can they say it's been the hottest summer this year? So, yeah, it's crazy. So, uh, yeah, so there's quite a few people here this weekend, which is a really good thing for the, uh, the people in... Uh, Inglemales and Skegness and that so uh, yeah oh, they're staying open and they're making their last bit of money before the season actually closes uh, end of October but there is still people coming in November as well so most of these places do actually stay open right we're going to have a look at the uh, sweet shack right so let's check out what the sweets are doing in here so yeah got some good stuff in here as well so if you want some sweeties get yourself here hi yeah you doing right But yeah, check out all these sweets. So I've got the pumpkins for Halloween lot. Just a pound, a little a bag for a little bag of those. These are my favourites. 
love them and I'm not allowed to eat them it's a sad shame I've even got a banana fudge as well there and the icing coconut ice my favorite and I don't eat it anymore because I'm a good diabetic now yeah they've got everything in the shop check out all the lollies and they're all a pound as well the lollies are now yeah so at the moment they've knocked all the prices down so yeah coming to the end of the season so everything's really cheap in here so if you're in Inglemells and you want some cheap rock or some cheap sweets come down here and uh, this is the sweet shack right so we're going to check out this uh, fish and chip shop yeah so you can eat outside I think there's some tables inside as well so this is supposed to be the best fish and chip shop takeaway restaurant on Anchor Lane in Inglemells so we're going to give it a try so let's check out see what the taste of the fish and chips are and uh, we'll give it a mark as well show it at the end and give it a thumbs up so it's called Grey's it's a traditional fish and chip shop Right, so here we go then. So we've got the uh, fish and chips from the Grey's Fish and Chip Shop. Yeah, so do, do these open all winter as well, do you reckon? Or do these close? Probably probably do close in the winter, won't they? But yeah, so up to now, fish looks quite good. A bit pale, not too much batter on it as well. So yeah, it doesn't look too bad at all. And the fish is quite thick as well, so give it a taste. And it's very nice, very nice fish. Uh, yeah so let's uh, let's have a look at the chips so you get a lot anyway so uh, yeah the chips are nicely cooked as well really fluffy as well inside mm, really good that's really good I'll, I will actually I shouldn't talk with my mouth full <laughs> I've been told off that many times talking with my mouth full, so I'll try not to talk with my mouth full. But yeah, I'll definitely come down here again and have some fish and chips down here because yeah, they look really good and they taste really nice as well. But yeah, I won't talk with my mouth full, so yeah, I have been in trouble a few times. But let's check out the peas. So I've got the mushy peas and they don't look fluorescent a lot. I can't, I can't really say that word, fluorescent, fluorescent. So oh, sometimes they're really fluorescent and you don't, you know, how do they get that to fluorescent colour in? So let's check these out. Hey, then, these are not bad either. You should have had mushy peas. These two guys have got uh, curry sauce, but... Uh, yeah, curry sauce. yeah, really nice they are. So, yeah, spot on. So, yeah, I'm going to eat it and then we're going to mark it. So, uh, yeah, leave me to it. I'm going to tuck in and we'll see you in a bit. Right, so there you go then, guys. We're at Gray's Fish and Chip Shop, and that was absolutely beautiful, wasn't it, Tracy? Yeah? yeah Sam enjoyed his yeah. as well. Sam's actually here as well. So I've had to leave my chips because I've got that much. It, it's actually filled me. So what was the fish and chips? How much was I can't remember don't know how much it was now, the fish and chips. It, it, it come to £27 uh, for a large fish and chips, mushy peas, uh, and two small fish and chips with curry sauce so that's not too bad that's not so it was really good the fish was beautiful uh, really nice and tasty as well really good taste to it not too much batter on it as well but yeah these flies that were doing me in but yeah really good so if you're in Inglemales if you come down to Fancy Island and the fish and chip shops are all busy get yourselves down to Anchor Lane get yourselves to Grays and get some fish and chips sorted Right, so uh, this is the famous hot dog, sh yeah, so uh, what is your name? Uh, Melissa. Melissa, do you own the hot dog place? Uh, no, I only work here. Yeah. You just work here, but yeah. check out the size of them hot dogs, but they look really good. So uh, how much is your big large hot dog? Four ninety. £4.90. Yeah, with onions. And onions as well, and you do uh, donuts as well, candy floss, hot drinks and everything. So yeah, check out these guys. See you later. Yeah, like I said earlier, I can't believe how busy it's actually got today. It's gone really well today. Yeah, I say like the weather forecast was supposed to be really warm, 
and uh, it's, I say it's about 19 degrees and cloudy. It was a bit of a shame really because everybody's come, seen the weather and thought like let's go to Skeggy for the weekend because it's going to be a good weekend and let's get on the beach but uh, ooh, you can go on the beach if you want. Bit of a bad news though but uh, yeah so it's really good that uh, everybody's here still coming to uh, Inglemales and Skegness and the surrounding areas and supporting all the businesses as well and uh, getting their last chances to uh, get in their caravans before the uh, season closes. Right there you go then guys that was our little walk round uh, Anchor Lane again in October and uh, yeah it's been really nice today so nice to see everybody out as well so yeah we took you around Wacky Racers so like I say earlier if you need anything uh, for your caravans or any food or anything like that wacky racers sell the lot in there there were loads of sweets and stuff like that as well so yeah really good shop that is uh, also we've been to Gray's as well so Gray's is supposed to be the best fish and chip shop on anchor lane and we've had fish and chips from there and it's been absolutely superb uh, and it's not too expensive as well and you get loads of going to eat all them chips and the fish was absolutely beautiful really nice tasty fish and uh, these two guys agree on that as well don't you yeah Definitely. yeah so there we go then so that's our walk around for today hope you've all enjoyed it and i hope you're going to enjoy all the rest of my videos that's going to be coming up in the future and if you haven't done already please subscribe to my youtube channel i am desperate 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 well should i say desperate but i am desperate uh, for loads of subscribers yeah so please hit that subscribe button it's absolutely free also there's a notification bell so hit that notification bell and that tells you when all my new uploads are coming up as well and that thumbs up give me that thumbs up if you like the videos because that really has helped me as well so we'll see you in the next video and we'll see you on the next adventure and we'll see you soon Bye. Bye! That fish was absolutely delicious. There's actually a fly going around on my lens as well. So if you see something going around my lens, there's a little fly going around there. That, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's so, on yeah, look, it's on, it's on there. No, I'm going to do that again. <laughs> right. Oh my God. I, I can see it on my camera. It keeps landing on it. Just blowing. Right, take two. <laughs>